So let's take a look at the DI and DE combination just now. This won't take very long because it's really one sound. Well, two, technically. So it's not like those BHs or VHs. <laughs> so you will see DI and DE. This is if you're a grammar geek, if you're a li linguistic nerd, um, E and I are slender vowels, so they, they make this a slenderized D sound. Yeah, slender D. So, and it makes a J sound. This is where you get that J sound in Gaelic. Although Gaelic does not have the letter J, the D, E, or D, I provides that. So, first of all, let's figure out what this means. Remember, it's, in, at least in the way that I recommend, it really helps to understand something before you analyze it. Because then you, you know what you're analyzing. So, Jaluan is Monday. Jamarsh, Tuesday. Jakiatin, Wednesday. Okay. And as you just heard, it's a just sound at the beginning. Jaluan. Jamarsh. Jakiatin. Yeah. What about this word here? <laughs> Jifrichja. Jifrichja. This is the word different. Jifrichja. Jifrichja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've heard it pronounced as Jifrichja. A strong D. You'd probably hear Jifrichja more often. Jifrichja. Yeah. So I recommend saying Jifrichja. Alrighty. So this is D and I. It's just a J sound. Coming over here. If you've watched my videos before, you know I like pointing to this one a lot. J. J. So this D is also a J sound. J. J. And in the Isle of Lewis, possibly in Harris as well, I'm not very familiar with the Harris dialect, it's actually a more of a D sound. And full disclosure, my, I'm not very skilled at imitating Lewis Gaelic, so I'm not going to try. But instead of a J sound, it would be a stronger D sound. D. Okay. Leva. So that's something to keep in mind. And we're really lucky to have that kind of difference, in my opinion, in Gaelic. When you're learning, it can be, um, it can be tricky hearing different dialects when you're still building up your foundation. But once you get to a point where you're, you really see the connections between them, just the different pronunciations, um, on top of those same meanings, it's quite rich. We're quite lucky to have them. Yeah. Yeah. It's also fun if you like um, Nordic languages, hearing the connections between some Gallic dialects and Norwegian, for example. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, Lewis Gallic in particular has that connection. I, I remember hearing a story of someone hearing it and not really knowing what it was and asking, oh, like, who's that Norwegian? <laughs> All right. Leva. So, this question, what? What? J? J? Or if you're on Lewis, it would sound a little different. <laughs> Notice there's a long E because of the accent mark. J? 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 All right. <clears throat> so coming down here, D E without the accent mark can mean of. Kuchba de Hoffi. Kuchba de Hoffi. As I was taught, D-E is always duh, duh. That being said, you can say it as ja. Some folk will say it as ja. I was taught duh, so that's what I say. Um, so this can be like a duh, or it can be a ja sound. Kupa de chofi. Kupa de chofi. Kupa ja chofi. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, this is an import from French. Hmm. Leva. The French also say de something, of something. Perhaps there's a similar root from that. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar with that. <clears throat> but as I learned it, it was import from French. All right. So, oh, and also, just in case this isn't clear, cup of coffee. Right? Coupe de coffee. Or coupe de coffee. Personally, I recommend de. This is de. Now let's look at, oh, for fun, let's add one more. <clears throat> All right. So, jace. Jace means south. Jace. 
So just like up here, it's this J sound. This, this word here, very useful, very useful. J shell, J shell, which means ready or finished. All right. Han genio J shell, dinner is finished. Or hami J shell, I'm ready. This is something I ask my students in most lessons at the very beginning. Avelu J shell, oh ha, hami J shell. <laughs> J shell. Again, this J sound here, D E, that J. J shell. Jalav. Jalav. It's a picture. It can also be a painting. Jalav. Jalav. And if you watch the, the, um, the B H and M H pronunciation video, there's that V sound, Jalav. <laughs> So, D-E-J. What about this last one here? What do you think that sounds like? Oh, well, this is a J. Jason. <laughs> Jason. It's one spelling of my name in Gaelic. Yeah, Jason. Mm -hmm. Gleva. So as you can see, this D-I and D-E combination makes a J sound. J. J. Jaluan. Jamasht. Jakiatin. Jifrichja, J, or in other places a bit harder of a D sound. Kuhpa, D, Chofi, or Kuhpa, J, Chofi. And then Jes, Jeshal, Jalav, Jason. And there we have it, the D, E, D, I sound. Kleva. I'll see you in another video.